Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to interpret regression results. So for this problem, I borrowed this problem from the textbook of Fox and Levin. And this is about the impact of brain vitamin pills or the number of brain vitamin pills you have taken and IQ on your exam score. So basically the question that we're trying to answer here is which of the two predictors have a stronger impact on your exam performance? Is it the number of brain vitamin pills you have taken or is it your IQ? Okay, so for today's demonstration, I will be using Jamovi. So let me just transfer very quickly to my Jamovi interface. Okay, all right, there you go. Okay, so what I did is to copy and paste my data here in Jamovi and you can see that there are three columns here. You have the number of brain vitamin pills taken on the leftmost column, followed by the IQ and the exam score of the participants. So to run multiple regression, we can click on regression right here on top. Then let's select linear regression. Then as you can see, there will be a menu that would emerge. So what we should do is to drag our outcome variable, which is exam score onto the dependent variable. And let us also drag our predictors into the covariates box because they are the predictors or the independent variables in this example. And also before we look at the results on the left side of our interface, let's scroll down and let's look for model coefficients. Make sure that we check on standardized estimates because yes, we can use the estimates, the one on the right, but I am more comfortable in interpreting standardized estimates rather than estimates. Okay, so now we have the results. So as you can see, the Jamovi um, software, there are two tables on screen right now. So as you can see on top, we have, we have here the table for the R squared or for the co coefficient of determination. And down below, we have the table for the coefficients telling us the impact of each predictor onto the dependent variable. So before I teach you how to interpret the results, let's interpret this very quickly. Now, before we write this in APA format. So as we can see, here is the predictor, brain vitamin pills taken. And then what you should do first is to look at the standardized estimate. So that's positive. You know, the way you interpret standardized estimate is very similar to how you interpret correlation coefficients. So if it's positive, it means that there is a positive relationship between the two. But if the standardized estimate is negative, then it means that there is a negative relationship between your IV, your independent variable, and your outcome variable. But that is not the only basis because just like in correlation, we also look into the p-value. If it's below 0 0.05 or greater than 0 0.05. So we can only say that there is a significant impact if the p-value is lower than 0 0.05. So in this case, yes, brain vitamin pills taken has a standardized estimate of 0 0.35. However, if you look into the p-value, it's higher than 0 0.05. So it means that it doesn't have an influence on your exam score. So the number of brain vitamin pills you have taken does not in any way affect your exam performance. Meanwhile, the IQ of the person, it also yielded a positive standardized estimate of 0.71, which means that the higher your IQ, the higher your um, exam score, and that effect is significant because the p-value, as you can see here, beside the 0.71, we have 0 0.014. It is definitely lower than 0 0.05, meaning no, it has a significant effect. It had a significant influence on exam score. And before we report this in APA format, let's also check the R squared. So the R squared or the coefficient of determination tells us the amount of variance or percentage in the dependent variable that is explained by the independent variables. This is the percentage of variance accounted for by the independent variables the percentage in the DV explained by the predictors. Okay, so now let me just switch very quickly to Word once again so that I can share to you the APA report. Okay.
Okay, so I copied the table here in my Word document. So this is the same table that we, uh, we generated earlier. So now let's focus our attention on the write-up. This is the write-up submitted to me by my student. So let us check if the write-up is correct. And let's see if there are any areas of improvement. Okay, so the student said multiple regression analysis was used to determine if brain vitamin pills and IQ predict exam results. So I think we can further enhance this by saying if the number of brain vitamin pills taken and the IQ of the person predict no, or influence exam scores or exam results. So maybe we can use results or scores. Anyway, then the results show that brain vitamin pill intake and IQ accounts for 86% of the variance outcome. I think this should be 86% of the variance in the outcome variable or 86% of the variance in exam scores. That's much better. Moreover, the results show that brain vitamin pill intake do not impact exam results. Beta is equal to 0.35. They got it from the table above that the beta is 0.35. And since the p-value is higher than 0.05, they put NS. I'm okay with this. However, when we are writing beta, we should be using the Greek character for beta. So let me just copy that very quickly from, okay, so this should, this is how the beta looks like. Okay, so we should use this character when reporting regression results, make sure to have it italicized and the P in P value should also be italicized. Okay. Oops. All right. There you go. While IQ is positively associated with exam results, I'm okay with that. But same concerns, I guess we should use the symbol for beta instead of the entire word beta. And then let us italicize the P in P value. P is less than 0 0.05. So this is based on the table generated in Jamovi. So after they explained the R squared and the betas of each variable, they ended with a sentence. This suggests that, bite, that brain vitamin pills do not affect how well you perform in exams. IQ, on the other hand, plays a pivotal role in predicting how well a student can ace exams. So I agree with this interpretation and I think it's sufficient. So that, my dear um, students, is how to interpret regression results. I hope this explanation is clear and see you next time for another video about research and statistics.